Yo what is good guys back again with me Mato By the way many of you comment to deep dive know about my trick that I use in my design And now I made a special video for you guys It's called tips and tricks section FYI in this section we will find all my tips and tricks separately And I do more specifically explain step by step those tricks to make it easier for you And of course thanks a lot for your comment guys I really appreciate that Please keep supporting me by comment, subscribe, and like my videos, and I'll be catch you to provide more useful videos. So, without further ado, let's get right to it. Come on. Alright guys, now I'm gonna show you my tricks to coloring images with really simple method. I often use this technique for coloring my image. As you can see by using this trick, I can still see the contrast and detail of the original image and this is very good for making graphic t-shirt design. Ok, I prepared this image to show you how I made this trick. First of all, I changed the name of my main layer with main object to make it easier when I want to find it. And now, I create new layer and name it with BG for background and let's drop the BG layer below my main object layer and with the color of low brown setup automatically on black hold and press option and delete key on Mac or alt and backspace key on windows usually I make a black background to clarify the contrast area or it can be my reference to see the highlight in the image before I start to coloring or make adjustment to the design now I add the contrast a little bit you can go by select image tab pick adjustment choose level and you get level properties and I play a little bit with the slider to get the right contrast that I want and hit ok to apply that ok now I pick gradient map in the lower right corner bar and you can see the properties has open up hit the gradient color and now you get the gradient editor menu or whatever you call that when setting the color in gradient map properties there are two slider options the first is a color stop to select a color and when you slide to the right or left it will add a solid color and the second one is the dot slider which function to adjust the transition between colors in each color spot you put it on and when you want to add some color just hit the color bar and play with slider on there this is very easy to update a color without losing the detail from the original image <laughs> When I do coloring, I usually divide the color into three parts, which is the shadow, the mid light, and the high light. And with this gradient map feature, I can freely determine how many color fields you are in each of these parts and have a full control to adjust them individually. Alright, after I got color I want. I click and mask it on my main object layer with hold option key or alt key on your keyboard and when mouse cursor has changed like that you just click in the bottom and it will be done if you're looking at cool design for your clothing brand and get attention on my design and you really want to have one please make contact by email or direct message on my instagram for those details you can also request any design you want or thinking, just tell me what you want and I'll do the rest. I'm so glad to be able working with you guys and so let's back again on the video, come on. Ok now I'm gonna create a shadow in some areas, on right here, uh, right here, right here, on the right here, on the right here, and yeah I create a layer and name it with shadow. Let's drop shadow layer below my gradient map layer 1, clipping mask to my main object layer, set my foreground color to black. For this, I just using brush tools to add an eraser tool to remove. I pick my brush presets, choose the general brushes and pick soft brush. 
as at my flow value to 28% and you can copy my setting obviously and let's move and gently paint it all in the areas I want if you feel you have added too much you can delete it using the aerosol tool and back again with your brush tool to fix it better I think that's enough. Uh, next, I will show you my tricks while I adjust the shadow. You can double click right here, and you can see layer style pop up. I play a little bit with the blend if menu. Make sure you click blending option, and you can see the underlying layer at the bottom by hold option key or alt key on your keyboard and then click the slider and automatically the slider will separate now you can free to play with the slider and give you more blending control to your video alright I think it's very nice to seeing that it's really, really easy to make a deal with coloring and don't lose much detail from my original image of course, you can choose or play with different settings with your own. Maybe you can try to experiment with this method and just show you the way that I often use while I create my design. Now let's gonna make something fun and try to experiment with this trick. Now I'm gonna combine this with another color. I put on right here, right here, and right here. Now I'm gonna duplicate it by select the gradient map one layer, left click on your mouse, choose duplicate layer and change the name with gradient map 2 or you can also move with press ctrl G for shortcut command. Let's pick more brawny color and disable the other layer so I can see all the color adjustment I made earlier. Now select the layer mask press ctrl i to invert and now i be able to start doing that make sure your foreground color set with black and white you can easily change them by press x button on your keyboard now i'm gonna do to select the area that i determined earlier by using a pen tool so i can do more get selection area precisely left click on your mouse, pick make selection, and hit ok now pick your result tool to remove the selected area and i will do the same on the gradient map 1 layer press x button on your keyboard for reverse the foreground color to the white and spread all my brush on the selected area see how easy i play with this trick and I don't lose any detail for doing that. Let's repeat this process on all the areas that I define. Alright, with this trick, I usually play with blend mode. It can be helpful and easy way to get the best result or try to find best color at the end. You can also do the same and play a little bit with different approach or combine this stuff with half tone effect, noise effect, and some additional images or whatever you like. Alright, I do zoom in a little bit and I can see the edge between each color not gonna too smooth and I'll fix that very simple to select the gradient map one layer pick my eraser tool pick my brush to soft round and set my flow value uh, between 35 I think it's enough 
and I spread my brush till the fade away a little bit do the same with the gradient map to layer and I get smoothly transition with that that's it By the way guys, you exactly free to play with it. I just show you the way that I often use while I create my design. You can be able to try to experiment with this. You can add more texture overlay or just add another images. Choose any color you want, it's all up to you. Basically what you're gonna do is just to look element around and think the opposite way. If you practice thinking this way, not only you end up with more original concept, but over time it will actually help you to become a more creative. Alright, now I'm gonna play a little bit with this and doing randomly. I don't know what it could be work, let's see me start a little bit and I promise you if you stick until the end you definitely get benefit from it. Let's go. Alright guys, for the last touch, I add the camera filter and adjust the color to more vintage. Just no specific way for applying that, just play with slider on there and try to get the best result. It's good. <laughs> Alright guys, now I'm adding noise text a little bit to get more contrast and detail. You can start by go on the filter menu, select noise, choose add noise and hit ok. Actually I just add the noise a little bit to get more aesthetic and vintage vibe. You can copy my setting by the way, let's go. Move on to the next step, I pick my text tool and add the title for this design which is 20 twins. I'll add noise texture and play with blend if mode to give more blended all over. By the way, the font that I use is called Bauhausi by 2 r Studio. I put the download link in the description so you can do the same font as mine. I also make a simple logo with this so you can see me start a little bit. It's good. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is all for today, I hope you learned something new from this video, I'll be uploading another video later this week, so make sure you subscribe so you don't want to miss out, follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes, thanks for watching my video, see you on the next one, peace.